Hey guys, Karis if here with another review. This time I'll be reviewing the Deluxe Turtle Watch Full Ball Set from Kamen Rider Build. This is our next set of two full balls that, when used together, form a best match. So, let's get started. First off, we'll look at the two balls on their own. First, we have the Turtle Full Ball, which is done up in a green color as seen on the cap and the design. You've got the cap here with the sticker with a TNW for Turtle and Watch. And keep in mind the coloration of the sticker because that's something that's going to actually come up later. And you have the ball which has the design of a sea turtle on it, with only the turtle part being painted in. And you, of course you have the clear part on the inside, a QR code for Gamba Rising. You can twist the cap and shake it to hear its sound. Then we have the watchful bottle. It was done up in a very dark gray color. You have the same sticker up here. But then, for the design, we have the design of a wristwatch with a time set to 7.30. And again, you've got the QR code, cap twists, and the ball can be shaken. Next, we'll use these balls with the build driver to create our new best match. And that creates counter build turtle watch form. You can get a nice look at it here on the box where we have the head. You can see the turtle and watch eyes. And you can get a better shot of him here on the back. Where you can see that for the turtle body, he's got a turtle shell shield on his shoulder. And for the watch body, he has wrist wrist watches throughout that side. But there are a couple of discrepancies here. The first being coloration. You'll notice that for the watch full ball, it's got a dark gray color, but for the watch half of Turtle Watch form, it instead has a white color. And that is also why I wanted to make note of the sticker on the balls, because the uh, side for watch on that sticker was also white in coloration, meaning that somewhere along the way they must have changed the uh, intent coloration for either the ball or the form. The other thing you notice is that the time on the watch full ball is 7.30, but on Turtle Watch form, it's instead set to 9, and this is actually indicative of the time change, or the air slot, rather time slot change, that Conrad Build went through in October, where it changed from airing at 7.30 on Sunday mornings to 9 o'clock on Sunday mornings. And the last thing to note is that, as you can see, this is a CG rendering of Turtle Watch form, meaning this is another Gunba Rising exclusive form, though it almost wasn't as in one of the episodes of Kamen Rider Build, Build was actually seen putting the balls for Turtle Watch form into the belt, but never showed him turning into that form. Then, we can get a close-up for the Voltec finish. And lastly, as per usual, we'll use the balls from the last best match to create a couple of example trial forms. So in this case, we'll use the rose copter balls. Let's start off with these two. And this creates trial form turtle helicopter. Then we'll close up for the Voltec attack. Ready, go! Voltec attack! 
Then we'll switch over to these two. And this creates trial form Rose Watt. Now we'll get one more close up for the finisher. Ready, go! And there we go. So, overall, the Turtle Watch Full Ball set is quite interesting. And of course, it does the same standard things that other football sets do, but what makes it interesting is all the little discrepancies or differences between what we see with the balls and what we see with the form, and kind of some of the oddities about it. It's like how there's definitely some kind of color change that went on to either the form or the watch ball somewhere in production, as well as how even though this was almost used in the show, they instead decided to just show off the balls and have the form being Gun Rising exclusive. So this is, you know, a less essential boss set because of that, since it didn't appear in the show. But if these balls interest you and you like the sounds or just the form that makes, then this is something something I can certainly recommend picking up. So next week I'm going to start doing a bit of a change, and I'm actually going to be uploading my videos earlier in the days so that more people can see them basically the day they come out, taking into account time zones and whatnot. So, next time I'll be reviewing The Good Striker from Lupin Ranger vs. Pat Ranger, Tuesday at 3 p.m. PST. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And if you're new and would like to see more, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. And for now, this is KRX50, riding off.